Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll discuss about uh, step 14 of the SAP UFI walkthrough series, which talks about custom CSS and theme colors. Now in, in our SAP UI5 applications, uh, if we need to define some more fine granular layouts and uh, we need more custom styling, then we can use the flexibility of CSS and we can add custom CSS styles to our SAP UI5 application. After implementing the changes of this step, uh, we can observe that in the look and feel of our UI5 application, the space between the button and the input text field uh, will become smaller and the text which we are displaying in the output text field, it will be bold and in theme color. Now, there is a caution here mentioned in the documentation that uh, if we use custom CSS styles and if the SAP UI5 version gets upgraded, then any override styles which we have in our application that may get affected uh, with an SAP UI5 version upgrade. Also, it is recommended that if we do not have control over the SAP UI5 version which uh, we are running, uh, say for example, uh, our applications are running on Fury Launchpad and uh, the SAP UI5 version for Fury Launchpad is loaded from uh, is loaded centrally for all the applications. So in such cases, we should not use uh, custom CSS styles. Now we'll go through the code changes which are required for introducing custom CSS in our application. First of all, we create a folder named CSS inside our web app folder. And inside this CSS folder, we create a style.css file. In this style.css file, we define a custom namespace uh, CSS class, and we also define the uh, custom CSS classes, which we will be using in our application view. So here we are defining custom CSS classes for uh, adding margin to our uh, button control. So here we are adding uh, a margin of 0.125 rem uh, to our button control, and uh, we are adding it uh, for two different scenarios. Basically, if the text is displayed from left to right, then this piece of code will be applicable. Whereas if the text uh, displayed is from right to left, then this class will be applicable to our button control. Then we have another CSS class called my custom text, which basically ensures that the text is displayed in bold and uh, it is displayed in the inline block mode. In the manifest.json file, we add a section for resources inside our sap.ui5 section. Here we define the resources which should be loaded for our application. So here we define the path to our CSS uh, style.css file. This is the URI. It is uh, relative to the uh, component of our application, which is basically the web app folder. So here it's like uh, the style.css file is will be loaded from the CSS folder, which is lying inside our web app folder. And then we mention the style.css file name. Now coming to the changes uh, needed in the app.view.xml file, uh, we configure our app control with the, the my app demo wt class, which is basically our custom CSS class. It doesn't bring any uh, styling rules to our application, but it is used to define the CSS uh, selectors, which are only applicable for our application. Then we add the my custom button CSS class to our button control, which basically provides margin for our uh, button. For our text control, here we are using the formatted text control, which can be styled using a custom CSS class. So here we uh, configure this control with our my custom text CSS class, which uh, makes the text in bold and uh, the display to be in line block. And we also configure it with the SAP theme highlight as color CSS class, uh, which basically ensures that the text is highlighted in the color of whichever theme is loaded for the SAP UI5 application. If we have a look at the conventions mentioned in the documentation, it says that do not specify colors in custom CSS, but use the standard theme dependent classes instead. 
So that is what we have used here, this theme dependent class to highlight in whichever color the theme brings along with it. Now we can run this application using the UI5 serve command and uh, we can check the application running on the local host. So we can see here that the margin between the button and the input control has been uh, reduced or I can say that it is getting controlled from the custom CSS class which we have introduced which is the my custom button CSS class and we can see that the formatted text which is being shown here it is it has been highlighted it is in bold and uh, it is uh, reflecting the color of the theme of our application. So that is it for this step in this video. In the next video, we will go through step 15 and understand about the concept of nested views. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.